Today, I am going to show you a step-by-step, -step, nice and slow tutorial for one of my most requested tutorials all over TikTok, Instagram. This is by far the one I get the most questions about. People want to see it slow down and they want me to walk it through step-by-step. -step. So here it is. By the end, you'll be able to create this fun, good vibes only design. Let me know if you have any questions and happy designing. To begin, we're going to draw our shape. You can either draw your shape or you can use a silhouette you find online and image trace it if you have the rights to use it. What we're gonna do next is with your shape selected, under the eraser tool, you're gonna to go to the knife tool. I'm going to do a phrase with three sections. So I'm gonna cut this into three parts. You could just do two or you could do more. I'm just gonna kind of make a fun little swirl here. And then you can see if I move these with the arrow keys that they are now three different shapes. Now, if you were to bring a shape in and image trace it, sometimes for whatever reason, after you cut it with the knife tool, it won't separate. So you either need to go to object expand or object ungroup a few different times. And usually that will do the trick. So next we're going to add our text. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put good vibes only. Okay, and then my favorite font to use is called Love That. And I'm going to do the all caps version. Now, what's really important is that your text, I'm just going to change it to pink so you can see it, is behind the cutouts of your shape. People miss this all the time. It's not going to work unless your text is behind. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to arrange and send to back. So I'm going to have one line of text with every section that I cut. And then what I'm going to do is select both and go to object, envelope, distort, make with top object. I'm going to do that with all three sections. Okay. So then you have your full typography here. So you can see, you can move with the arrow keys to get it a little closer. What I also usually end up doing, I select everything and then I go to object, expand, and then with these two filled in, I'm going to hit OK. And here, I don't really love how flat the G is and kind of the O a little bit. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to double click on the G and then with my pencil tool, I just hit P as a shortcut on my keyboard. I'm going to kind of redraw the G to give it a little bit more body there. I'm also going to do a little bit of that with the O. So you can kind of adjust anything that you would like to, because sometimes when you do the envelope distort, the letters can turn out a little funkier than you'd like. So you can always go in and edit them. So once I like the final layout here, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go to object group. Now, when it comes to color, so I've given you the color codes here. I usually pick a different color or the lightest color for my background. This is the color code for the blue that I used here. And then I have three different shades of pink that I'm going to use to create my blend. The main center is going to be the middle shade. And again, I have the color codes for you here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste and back. I'm going to hit I on my keyboard as the shortcut tool for the eyedropper. And I'm going to click on the darkest shade there. And then I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to select it again, and then holding shift and option, it's going to perfectly move my back copy to be smaller. So I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller. And you can see, again, it is the darkest shade. Then I'm going to select both and I'm going to go to object, blend, blend options. Okay. So I'm going to clear this out because usually this is starting when you pop this up, it's going to show as smooth color. You want to go under specified steps and do 50 steps and hit okay. Now, this is another part where people get confused. You have to reselect everything and go to object blend again, and this time hit make. So first you're creating the blend with the blend options, and then you're creating the blend with the actual make. So you can see it now made the cool blend. And if I go to edit, paste in front, because I still, I haven't moved where my design is. It's now putting a copy in front. I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard, and I'm gonna select the lightest color, I don't know that I like this on top of the blue, so I think I'm actually going to try and make it even lighter. Or maybe change my blue a little bit. I'm not loving the contrast here. 
So let's see. I liked this blue here. Maybe not. So you can kind of play around until you like the colors that you're seeing. You want to make sure that you have enough contrast. We will go back to our blue. Make it a little less of the green. So you kind of just have to adjust things around until you like how they're looking. And voila, you have your cool typography. Thanks for joining me today. I would love to see how you're doing on your designs. Feel free to tag me on Instagram and share how you're doing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel where I'm going to drop new tutorials every Tuesday. You can also find me on social media, on Instagram, on TikTok. I love to share more personal business there, how to be a mom while juggling work and life and design, as well as sharing more font inspiration and ways that you can improve your design. So thanks for joining me today.